Hey, what's up, guys? This is Tan Tan here. Welcome back to my channel. So, following my top 8 best studio series figures of 2020, and with the Earthrise animated series just got released on Netflix, so I think it's just time for me to do another top 8, which is the top 8 best Earthrise figures of 2020, which is gonna be, gonna be the last of Earthrise we have ever seen. So, now let's begin. So, start with number 8, we have the Commander class, Skylinks. So, why Skylink is on the number 8th spot? It is because that he doesn't possess a humanoid robot form. And I mean, he's still... So, like, that is... To some people, that is a problem. So, they, they find it my hard to play with and anything. And also, his appearance in the show is quite fainted, if I, if I may say that. But other than that, he's a great Transformer. You can display him with a lot of forms and the playable feature is good. So, you have the Lion mode, the Base mode. And you got Skylinks, and of course you got the uh, Space Capsule Carrier mode. So that is like 5 over there. And he comes with a bunch of explosive accessories. Which is good for if, for the case you want to play with Adamson Diorama with the other like Omega Supreme or Scorponox and etc. So I, I still highly recommend Skylink as a figure. So you definitely should get that guy if you are a hardcore G1 fan. Next on the list, we have Sunstreaker. So Sunstreaker has been the first of the many bot that use the same mode. I don't remember the other, the other two colors name, but he's a nice figure. The playable feature is good, and I enjoy him. And what puts him on number 7? It is because of the accessories. I'm not really quite a fan of that kind of looking gun. But also, it is because of that gun that he made into the number 7, because I enjoy the weapon storage in the alternate mode. I enjoy that, so that is number 7. So next we got number 6, this is Fast Track. That is a really nice weaponizer. I mean like he got a great robot mode. The vehicle mode looks kind of okay. The playable feature is that he's a weaponizer. So he easily can mix and match with other bots as well. And of course he can transform into the spear, a really long spear for playing with Scorponox, which is really nice. But I find some problem with that because like it is quite weird, you know, having Scorponox having such a, such a big claw arms things and then so it does look kind of weird. But I still highly recommend that Deluxe Cast figure. So on number 5, we have Deluxe Class RC. Why? Because she's also the first and then we have Elita 1. But comparing the plastic quality, I enjoy the plastic quality of RC more than Elita 1. And also I enjoy her face sculpt more than Elita 1 as well. The only downside for many RC figures which possess that item mode is that the backpack. But then Hasbro has done a really great job of removing it and then put it onto her under, underneath as a base. So we got a really slick and nice robot mode. I mean like there's something that can be fixed here and there but I mean she's still good for number 5. And for number 4, of course we have Bumblebee. I know that a lot of you guys would argue that Bumblebee is a retool of Cliff Jumper. Let's be honest, Bumblebee alternate mode looks better than Cliff Jumper and it's, it's more iconic. And I enjoy the face sculpt more than Cliff Jumper. So yeah, Bumblebee definitely uh, number 4. And the reason for number 4 is that the I don't really enjoy the accessories of him. I mean like the long cannon thing look nice, but it is quite hard to store all the, the weapon at any mode at all because when you uh, look at the car mode the car mode is unable to store the weapon and of course so as the robot mode and one more thing is that when you transform him you still have to remove the whole backside section so number four <laughs> moving on to number three list we have the double dealer I mean, he's a new character that recently got a retool, re new, new toys, and many things about him still reminds me of his G1 self. And but anyway, he's a cool character. The transformation is great, and you got two modes. You got the missile carrier and the bird mode, I guess. He's a good toy, so I still highly recommend him. Although there's you know, not too much I can talk about him because, like, except for his personal personality in Earthrise, I enjoy his personality as a mercenary. Unfortunately, he's dead. Rip to double dealer. Other than that, he's a good toy with many accessories, a triple changer and a cuboless robot form, which is really impressive. Number two on the list, we have the Voyager class Earthrise Starscream, and this is a definitely a, a plus over here. He retools the old G1 jet as a brand new and absolutely perfect transformation. Less cable, really nice looking, good feeling, feeling a good weight a decent weight so i put it on the list because he would be an awesome alternate options if you cannot afford the masterpiece starscream 3.0 that guy's definitely a, just a go-to the no ray is is uh removable and anything about this figure is full of 
personality and I absolutely enjoy that. A shame that this jet mode didn't appear in Earthrise, so he still possessed the old Cybertronian jet mode. But I was I am really looking forward to see this new jet mode in action in the future soon. So before the number one, so I'm gonna give the some honorable mention. So for some honorable mention here we have the Voyager class Snapdragon and here we have the Titan class Scorponok. And so for the number one and so for the number one spot, of course, I have to mention the leader class Optimus Prime. I have said this many times that he's a great toy, comes with a pack of accessories and all of him just feel nice. You got a great G1 color scheme, a great transformation that is really close to the masterpiece and you got the matrix of leadership. And of course, from this toy we have for all the Optimus, we have the Shadow class versions, we have the Netflix versions, we have the Dead Optimus versions. I mean for all the toys so yeah that is quite a lot for repaints and retools but anyway from that he's a great toy I still highly recommended speakers and for those of you who unfortunately that didn't get your hands on his Earthrise version so please rest assured because he's gonna be released again as a, another toy in the kingdom line so that concludes my video about the, my top 8 best Earthrise toy of 2020 and hopefully we can do a list about kingdom soon and so that will be it for today guys if you are new to my channel feel free to subscribe and tell me in the comment section below what you think of my list and of course remember this is my personal opinion so don't get too upset if you disagree with any on the list and if your favorite figures doesn't appear and also follow me on instagram and if you feel like you can help me with the future figures feel free to buy me a coffee link is in the description below Tonton out.